I be bodying man, I got the chainsaw. Why you copying man, you rock the same shorts? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. He be researching and plotting brainstorms. I be murking and dropping claymores. <laughs> dropping claymores. There's some stuff you should say more, like that last line that you spit was way poor. Now, I know that my freestyle is too clever. I might have the same shorts as you, but I know that these shoes better. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 you see his dead naked body in a newsletter. Who's better, this bread or nah, blood, than never? Yo. What's good? This is Don't Flop Amsterdam. We are here in Amsterdam City in the Netherlands. It's the launch party of the one and only Don't Flop Europe. Please make some fucking noise! Massive shouts to all our Dutch fans for coming out supporting. Even fucking bigger shouts for all our English fans for taking the ferry or driving or flying or doing whatever the fuck they did to come over, man. Shouts to everybody coming out supporting, man. Been a great crowd all day. Make some noise for yourself. We're going to be back. 100% massive love to the venue as well. We're going to be back here in September and hopefully 2016 as well. All right, no further ado, man. If you watch Don't Flop, you watch Bar Up. You know this battle's been planned before. It's been cancelled. It's been fucked up. We're here in the same ring, about to get it in right about now for Don't Flop. On my right hand side, please make some noise for the Saurus. Let's go! And on the left hand side, you know the name. Please make some noise for Archaic. Let's go! Don't judge promo shit, all the main events is better to keep on promo. You know what I'm about to say on the end of the video. Please take two seconds of your time. Go on don'tflop.com and vote for who you would have voted for if you were judging the battle. Alright, we chose off camera. The arc was gonna go first. We've got three rounds in this clash. Main event shit, don't flop Europe. It's on my man arc. Let's go. <clears throat> Yo, I'm back, homie. No. Don't flop or bought me back in damn homie. Yeah. Damn homie. Look, nah, I'm joking, cause ain't nobody back. This is just Henri at the Emirates doing a testimonial match. Mm. I've been away for a decade in battle years, but I don't think I'm coming back from here. I just want to talk to you. I'll do this without a camera here. No Ur, uh, no Kruger, no Bagnall here. No bar, no venue, no atmosphere. Mm. Not one single fan in here. I just want to make that shit clear. So you better hope I'm rusty and that none of my jokes are funny, except the way I'm going on is a total fuckery. I'll come to Vegas and embarrass you in front your poker buddies, cause I got performance on top of bars like Coyote Ugly. Oh. Yeah. Alright then, look, we ain't in the same bracket, and on the way back I hope your plane crashes and someone puts a hole into your safe jacket. <laughs> now I ain't saying I can change him into a bake magnet, but Peter it ain't fashion to wear your hat forwards and your face backwards. <laughs> Punchlines are haymakers, but a bit more fatal. You got a personality like Frasier, but a bit more anal. A voice like Lush One, but a bit more nasal. And a face that looks like a fucking pinball table. Look, so you can talk about my record, but that don't take into account all the time I've done promos. Like I give a flying fuck. Your face looks like the fucking Mighty Ducks logo. <laughs> Boy, you fat prick. You fat Brick. You shout YOLO every time you walk past the sandwich. <laughs> and your dimples are the exact inverse of your man tits. I bet the left one's called Mob Deep and the right one's called Brad Pitt. <laughs> so if I was you, I'd consider calling it quits. No. If I was you, I would go and crawl in a ditch. No. If I was you, I would show an ounce of respect. Tie a rope around on my neck and then walk off of a bridge. No. If I was you, I would fall off of a cliff. No. If I was you, I'd pick up the ball rhythm and flip. Sink the blade into my arm and watch the blood pour from my wrist. No, if I was you, I would scrap all of that shit. Go and buy my daughter a gift and then jump up inside the car and then and then pull Walker that shit. Yo. Oi. Oi, this is red and meth in the Ivy League, smoking on that ivory. Mm. You're gonna say I care more about this battle than you do, but don't try it, Pete. Look. You've flown over the Atlantic Ocean three times for me. <laughs> you have three times. Yeah. You have spent 27 hours on a flight for me. <laughs> Yeah? You had to research and write for me and rehearse your lines for me. So stop lying, please. Peter Morris, he calls himself the Saurus because he's fucking prehistoric. Look, and I swear you turn 35 in May. And as far as this battle goes, look, there ain't much that I can say. You need to go home and spend some time with Tay because how can I bar someone's life away that's already barred their own life away? Time. <laughs> Oh, so it's 
round one. Let's do this. The shit about what you would do if you were me, those were not some great bars. But if I was you, I would thank Possessed and write him a Happy Father's Day card. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! I spit the darkest. <laughs> Y'all want to know how much of a bitch that arc is? Yeah. I just started my round with I spit the darkest and I'm still going to win regardless. <laughs> He ain't never had bars like these. Check the archives. Always the same arc I've seen. So to win today, the only bars that arc might need would have to be back on that census shit. R.I.P. <laughs> I told them I'd roast anyone standing. No sweat. No need to go get me a cannon. Every punch I throw heavy. Hold lead in each hand and got that snub nose stash. Yo, send me to Sam. <laughs> you get me, fam? Fuck every bar you got for me. This my comfort zone. It's feeling like the Parthenon to me. I'll put you underground if you try to start a brawl with me, which is pretty ironic. Because I don't think that archaeology... <laughs> Yo! Thanks. <laughs> you ain't hard. You aren't able to spar with a Spartan. Blade sharp, each bar aimed at my target. This Mark's fake. All of Ark's angles are garbage. Dear God, not even Ark's angels can guard him. You shark bait in the water, and I'm starved for a hunger fix. No bars on that old slut you're with, no bars on how you're a narc on some sucker shit. This is just part of your punishment. I'll give him wings, put him in a box, and then shut the shit. That's the Ark of the Covenant. See, <laughs> tonight, Ark is dying. Y'all can see it in the star's alignment. I'll hit this one out the park before you even start your windup. You thought that you had a shot by being on this lineup, but it takes more than marching right through Charles de Gaulle for Ark to triumph. <laughs> Round one, over. I just turned you to a cloud of smoke. We've gotten over, Ark. Next, we'll talk about your downward slope. Oh, Hold up, just in case I ain't ruined him yet. Hey, man, how's things doing with Steph? Time, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go in round one. Right. Y'all. If that's there, the best angles you've got, then I suggest that you should change it. So many name flips, you would swear that your surname is Clips. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> Yo, you need to stop chatting shit on the internet. And as far as that on Mac, you look good. As far as that on Mac battle goes, I don't care how the decision went. But you saw what I did to Greg and felt the need to interject But how you got me battling Scarface when I already said goodbye to his little friend mm. <laughs> So if there's anything between us, it gets put to sleep tonight You ain't putting up a fight I'm waiting for that mean left or for him to hook me with a right But you ain't Cinderella man just cause Pumpkinhead took you for a ride oh. <laughs> Oi, when you're this fucked from the neck up and the neck down, it must be hard to stay cool. You got a face that says you wouldn't get a match on Tinder, and a body that wouldn't draw at a masquerade ball. <laughs> That's why when we see you at events, you're always acting mad bookie. Cause you're a battle rap pussy that can only ever get battle rap pussies. <laughs> it's 100% true. Cause you're a battle rap pussy that can only... Look, I don't care what you say, mate, you know it's true. But don't worry, Peter, there are absolutely fucking loads of you. And this goes for all of these battle rapping nerds that need sex. Because the only game they run is a snaky one. These lot are a bunch of fucking 33 tens. So now he's into... Wait, wait, so now he's into fitness. Because his clothes fit less. But I don't understand how, though, because you were fucking big then. Wait, he thought the gym bench was a place you sit when you need a quick rest. This prick went on the treadmill and did six. Six reps. Mm. <laughs> and mate, well you failed the bleep test and the thing ain't even beat yet. <laughs> late at the gym and you go early. It's about time. It's about time you went cold turkey and all of that fucking cold turkey. And I'll respect that, mate. You need to shed that weight. And when you look at the camera doing that, mm, yeah, you get that face. Everyone at home just sees your fucking neck fat shape. So you're Mr. Two times everything, even with the food you're eating. Two times the body mass index of a healthy human being. <laughs> You sit in your house with a spliff in your mouth, clicking your mouse, and you need to research why. And last year you got engaged for like the third time. So I don't know who's got more X's, you or your t-shirt size. Look. Your timeline. 
lying alone makes this a walk in the park And tweeting about a breakup is one of the corniest parts She disregarded your emotions and then tore out your heart But don't worry, she weren't the one She was like a four and a half <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're a little fucking drama queen You gotta keep composed And I understand that you wanna pay homage to your father, Pete But you ain't gotta tweet him, no But I know you got your reasons, bro And that's cause you're an attention-seeking hoe Begging for sympathy off people you don't even know <laughs> Yo, you called Ilmac the weakest member of our team. And when I heard this Mark say it, I thought, that's kind of like the pot calling the kettle archaic. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get bar heavy. Sorry, Ark, but you aren't ready. Holy shit. All right, it's time to get bar heavy. Sorry, Ark, but you aren't ready. I don't know why I forgot this part, but my arm's deadly. Fuck it, I got a left arm with a message to start spreading. Now Ark's singing in a higher harmony than R. Kelly. <laughs> Y'all tell me Ark's a legend? I don't believe that hype. Shit, I prepare for each match like a Diaz fight. I don't need no policeman to read man's rights. You'd have to be watching EastEnders to see Sam strike. <laughs> That's light. I got a lightning jab to bend your spine in half. It'll put his head beside him. His friends won't even recognize his ass. Either forget every line you have or take a better writing class. Last time I seen Sam Rockwell was seven psychopaths. Oh, oh. It's time to spaz. Y'all been waiting to Got see it. these Titans. Fuck. It's time to spaz like when I just smashed that giant glass. Oh. Clash? <laughs> Fuck it! I'm gonna beat this guy so bad that his blimey ass ain't even fighting back! <laughs> Why is that, Sam? <laughs> I'll hit you with my rightest hand. This is your fourth retirement match. <laughs> <laughs> let me remind you, that makes you a pile of trash. Now let me give this guy a slap so hard it picks up on a seismograph. <laughs> this whiny brat's ego is getting shattered. This is legend status against a man who's been around just as long and never mattered. I've been setting standards in a scene that changes with the weather patterns. This is everlasting against the cat you won't even remember after. I will murder you in any facet, any translation. You're a Jewish bitch in the closet. Let me Anne Frank it. I'm taking over town. I'm already campaigning, pulling strings in the Netherlands. Eddie Van Halen. Whoa! Yeah. Fans hate him. And that's only part of this kid's problem. Because if we're not careful, he might go all types of nuts like a jar full of mixed <laughs> types of nuts like a jar full of mixed almonds. <laughs> that bar is all types of trash like a montage of the shit Ark does. Time! Let's go, let's go. Final round, man. Main event shit is on Ark. Let's do this. Hold it down, everybody. Uh, okay, recovery. Let's go, let's go. Round three. So they were sleeping on me until the alarm went off But a couple groundbreaking performances and now they're just feeling the aftershock But don't think these views are any kind of reflection on the bars I've got It's just that all these one-sided body bags are hard to watch mm. And all these bitches you get engaged to make you a laughing stock Cause they're only 14 G like half of Oz mm. And when you got a bang them over Skype it ain't lasting long The last time I played with a bitch on a computer her name was Lara Croft <laughs> And you ain't playing Tomb Raider, you're playing underaged Woo Raider. <laughs> I said, look, I said, you ain't playing Tomb Raider. You're playing Underage Wound Raider with a face that looks like the set of James Bond's Moon Raper. <laughs> no one even raps like this. They just have a list and that is it. So your face could be used for the board game battleships. Our mm. showboat and these low blows are giving me the upper hand in this. And I'll keep throwing these same punches until you catch my drift. Look, oh, is that your bitch? It ain't as good as what it may seem. Because she ain't 18, Peter. She's a... Team, <laughs> you are a sex offender like Kevin Webster, Pete, and I don't give a fuck if you can get him in the bed and beat. That won't get you any respect from me, because I stopped fucking 16-year-old girls the day that I turned 17. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, you got a daughter, 
water, but you're probably fucking her friends. I cannot, I cannot believe this fucking groomer has done it again. When I drop a 16, it's because I wrote something tough with my pen. When you drop a 16, it's because you broke up with your ex. Look. But when it's all said and done, you can't ever come unless they're very young. And I thought you played blackjack, so how come you never bust when they're over 21? Whoa. When you take your girl to the town hall, we ain't privy to the conversation. Cause we don't know if you're signing a marriage certificate or a adoption paper. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you think you're well famous, but the only way that MTV are ever filming Peter's wedding is if they do a feature segment on the TV show 16 and Pregnant. <laughs> and when you buy them dresses, I bet you get a great price. Because your daughter's bridesmaids dress and your fiance's wedding dress are the exact same size. <laughs> so you can say you're a good father, but that does not matter when your daughter's Miley Cyrus and your girlfriend is Hannah Montana. <laughs> and I know you call it winning, but that's only your opinion. I call it being being a fat sexual predator that plays online poker for a living. Look, and when it comes to these hoes, yeah, we all know Pete's preference. He's just pissed at the red light district. Ain't got an under 16 section. Let's go, Mason. Pure cornball. My last bitch was 30. My soul's immortal. I broke up with her the second she said your nose looks normal. <laughs> the red light district. Last night I fucked 10 white bitches on some west side pimp shit. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to battle Hoffa in Vancouver. He got stopped from making it through. You have your own math problem that isn't complicated to prove. When you're part of a two on two and you lose, then change partners and still lose, the common denominator is you. <laughs> y'all need about the WRC. First year, you were the wackest motherfucker in the league. Came right back in 07 like you had something up your sleeve and still lost to the cats who finished runner up to me. <laughs> Sucker, please, quit your tough guy steez. You'll get your, you'll get your teeth wired. Hold on. Sucker, please, quit your tough guy steez. You'll get your teeth wired. If he died, you'd see me smile cheek to cheek, cheek, to cheek wider than Steve Tyler. <laughs> You're not an elite rhymer. Your last three battles you've retired, but you lost all three, so it's like you were already being fired. <laughs> we're not in the same radius. I got a spot at the center. I'm not a wrestler. I know y'all expected The Rock against Lesnar, but I'm done watching my temper. I picked the round, I knock out contenders and pocket check all dough they give me like Conor McGregor. I was taught not to surrender while you flop under pressure. You'll see this pussy's basic instinct if you watch it uncensored. Mm. Being locked up is something he don't want to remember. Trying to put them bars behind him like Dr. Lecter when they brought in the stretcher. Mm. So stop pretending that him catching a charge makes him threatening. I know that stabbing incident is something y'all hate to mention, but it's karma if you see that same card played against him. Because what would you call it if they had Sam Shaw shanked? Redemption! Oh. Time! Sorry, Mason, <laughs> but fuck that back down. I didn't give a fuck. Yo, you ain't stopping me either. Don't he kinda look like a pedophile geography teacher? <laughs> <laughs>